The Phantom of the Old Theater. Stories from the driver's seat. In a small town, there stood an old, grand theater that had once been the jewel of the area. It was a place where famous actors and musicians from all over the world came to perform. The seats were always filled and the applause echoed through the streets. But as time passed, the town changed and so did the fortunes of the old theater. Newer, more modern venues popped up and the theater's once glittering lights dimmed. Eventually, it closed its doors and it was left to gather dust. Decades passed and the theater became the stuff of local legends. People spoke of strange noises and flickering lights coming from inside. Some claimed they had seen a dark figure moving through the abandoned building, always in the shadows. They called it the Phantom of the Old Theater. One day, a young filmmaker named Alice came to the town. She had heard the stories about the old theater and decided to make a documentary about it. Alice was fascinated by the tales of the Phantom and the idea of a spirit haunting the stage where it once performed. Armed with a camera and a sense of adventure, she decided to spend a night in the theater to see if she could capture anything on film. As night fell, Alice set up her equipment in the main auditorium where the seats were still draped in faded red velvet. The chandeliers above were covered in cobwebs and the air was thick with dust. But there was something else too, a sense of anticipation, as if the theater itself was waiting for something to happen. Hours passed and nothing out of the ordinary occurred. Alice began to think that the stories were just that. Stories, but just as she was about to pack up and leave, she noticed something strange. The stage lights, which had been off for years, suddenly flickered on. Startled, she turned her camera towards the stage and saw the figure. A dark silhouette standing in the center of the stage. Alice felt a chill run down her spine as she watched the figure. It didn't move, but she could sense it was aware of her presence. Gathering her courage, she called out, Who are you? Why are you here? For a moment, there was silence. Then, the figure slowly raised its hand and pointed towards the seats. Alice turned to see that the auditorium, once empty, was now filled with shadowy figures, all watching the stage in rapt attention. The phantom wasn't alone. It was performing for an audience that only it could see. Suddenly the figure began to move, gliding across the stage in a graceful, almost mournful dance. Alice was transfixed, unable to look away as the phantom performed. It was as if time had turned back and the theater was alive once more. As the dance ended, the figure slowly faded away and the lights dimmed plunging the theater into darkness once more. The audience of shadows vanished, leaving Alice alone in the empty auditorium. Shaken but thrilled by what she had witnessed, Alice packed up her equipment and left the theater. The next morning, she reviewed the footage, half expecting that it had all been a dream. But there it was, the flickering lights, the phantom's dance, and the audience of shadows. Alice's documentary became a sensation and people flocked to the town to visit the old theater, hoping to catch a glimpse of the phantom. The theater once forgotten was alive again. Its stories passed on to new generations. And though no one knew who or what the phantom truly was, they all agreed on one thing. It loved the stage and would never leave it. This story is fictional and for entertainment purposes only. Thank you for following along with me. Please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you for watching and I genuinely appreciate you all.